Hello everyone, my name is Yajas Patel and you are watching Yajas Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 7 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully created a database connection and also we created a database table and database. So in this tutorial we are going to working with the this view category section. Just look at here so just look at here first of all this is a dashboard if you observe here just look at here this is a dashboard okay so when I click on this one that time the dashboard is hidden and this page will be open so how can we do that so simply just come back into the body life section and here create a one page link like index.php question mark we create one get here in php you can set the get with the question mark after the question mark get name is coming so here we said get okay so let's refresh that one and see what happened just look at here when i click on this one so just observe here the get name is coming from here okay and now we set the dashboard with the index.php okay so refresh it again now again come back here so just look at here the get it is unset okay so what we are going to do here simply we need to create one page from here with the control plus n and create that one for the view id equal to cat view is close control plus n to save okay and say cat.php and we save this file into our main directory of admin just look at here we save this file from here save that one okay and now what we are going to do after the new end of the body lab section we need to create one php script here and we said if is that dollar underscore get cat okay then what should be happen here watch the condition just look at here if is set which means if this get is clicked by someone then what should be happen the gate name is coming here just because we use a cat as a gate name from here so at that time include double quotes cat.php which is available into our main directory of our in uh, admin folder okay so when someone click on that one so that time that category will be added okay so now h no, no 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 not like that we need to set here body right okay body right and now h3 tag view all categories okay so let's try to refresh and when i click on this one that time here we all categories will be coming okay so just look at here very good very nice just look at here we want category but if you scroll down so just look at here overview is also coming from here just because the body right section is also coming from there so we need to uh, remove that one from here so we also need to create one php script from here and we said if is set dollar underscore get then doesn't display this body right section okay so when i'm going to refresh that one so just look at this now okay 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 refresh that one so just look at this now if the get is set that time is not displayed but if get is set then is display okay what happened 
Yeah. Is not set. If refresh overview, just look at this now. Yeah, we also need to get the give the name with the cat get name. Okay. I thought that was enough for that. Just look at here now. The cat pages doesn't display. But when I click on this cat, so just look at this now. Now the cat is display and all are working very well. You can see that. So just look at this done. So now let's uh, try to design that one with the view ID equal to add. Okay. Now we create one form tag here and method will be post just because we use a post method and encryption type will be multi part form data okay control has to save that one inside that one first of all let's create that above one detail tag inside that detail tag we use a summary tag and that one add category okay and inside that we use a form tag by control x refresh okay Let's see what happened here. Refresh that one. So just look at this now. Now we have a summary tag. Okay. So now let's design this add. Okay. So come back into the RCSS. And we said if body right have some details tag. So, <laughs> detail have some summary tag. Let's see the spelling of the summary. Just because I always made a mistake with the spelling. Okay. So now, let's say the width. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to set the add with the width. Just because we create an add here, just look at here id add which will be 60% and um, its margin will be auto then Let's first of all check that one from here with the padding. Yes, give the padding with the two percent from all side and box sizing will be border box and then set the background will be has uh, zero 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 so we can see what is actual happening there. So just look at this now. Our section is coming here. So now we need to remove this background just because it's for only checking purpose. Refresh that one. So just look at this now. Now we need to design the summary tag from here. So in add we have some details tag. And inside that detail have some summary tag. That time um, its width will be. 100% its height will be 40 pixel and then its uh, color will be has 3 f 5 2 6 7 and then, 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 then. let's refresh first of all from here so just look at this now yeah and we set the border one pixel solid has three f five two six seven and it's a uh, font size also font size will be i think 12 pixel yeah 
let's see that what happened so just look at this now i think 40 pixel is very much 30 pixel fresh that one okay now it's very good now we need to also set the line height property from here line height uh, 30 pixel refresh that one so just look at this now now also we need to align center the text so how can we do that so we set text align center center refresh that one so just look at this now now also we need to set the uh, we need to remove this uh, blue line just look at here when we click on here so that blue line is coming so how can we remove that one so we said outline none property refresh that one so just look at this now now we doesn't have any outline none okay so now let's create a one just look at here what we done from here okay so we said uh, this one have some okay not like that summary tag over there so we need to form its background will be has a 3f5267 okay and now come back again from here and create a one yeah one input tag direct from here input type equal to text and then name equal to cat name then 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 then, then. over set the placeholder here enter category name here okay let's see what happened not from here here so just look at this now also set one more thing from into the css summary tag okay we say the cursor will be pointer okay so just look at this now now we need to set the some padding on the form tag padding 5% from all side and box sizing will be the border box okay refresh that one so just look at this now I think this is very good now I think 3 pixel is 3% uh, is enough from here so we set the 3% refresh that one okay just see that now we need to target the input tag so how can we do that simply come back again here and target the input tag and say its width will be 100 percent its height will be 30 pixel it's uh, um, then now outline will be outline none okay let's see what happened now so just look at this now we need some padding so we said the padding from the left side five percent and its box sizing will be the border box okay refresh that one again just look at this i think five percent is too much three percent is better refresh that one just look at this now now we need some button from here into our form tag so we create a one button 
button take close give the button name equal to add cat and say add cat a jewelry okay refresh that one so just look at this now now the button is coming from here let's center that button with the center tag okay refresh that one so button is center now also give the margin from the bottom our input tag margin bottom 2% refresh that one so just look at this now now we need to design the button so how can we design the button just simply copy this one from here by control C control V and then button okay so its width will be 20% its height will be 30 pixel okay 35 pixel background will be none and its uh, outline also none outline none and the border one pixel solid has three f5 to 6 a1 let's see yeah yeah okay we made a mistake from here we use here 74 double eight ninety e. okay and here now okay so refresh that one mm-hmm 40% and also set the color will be the white FFF okay so just look at this now uh, let's uh, give the border with the white background FFF refresh that one so just look at this now now we set the hover property from here if someone hover on here then the cursor will be pointer and the background will be has FFF and the color will be has tree f5 to 6 7 okay now refresh that one so just look at this now now our body is working very well our button is working very well okay mm, give the height 30 pixel as same our input tag height also set the font size will be 40 pixel 14 pixel refresh that one so just look at this now i think 12 pixel is perfect font size just look at this now also we need to set the font size on our input tag control c then control v refresh that one so just look at this now now all are perfect very well and all are good so guys i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get a direct notification into your inbox so guys don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot for watching stay connected with me stay tuned see you in next tutorial goodbye